What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Black Friday sales available in the Unity Asset Store. That means that we're gonna be able to get assets for 50% off, and I'm gonna show you the five Unity assets that I like the most for either game development, for AR development, VR development, you name it, these assets are really, really amazing. So let's go ahead and check them out. I wanted to go through and pick up a couple of assets that I really like, and we're gonna go through my top five assets that I, I use as a developer. It's a game developer with AR, VR, game development that I think you should be taking a look at. Also, some of these assets are going to be affiliate links, so I wanna be as transparent as I can because I'm going to be getting a commission so you know that that's going to happen. So the first one is one that is very popular and this is Shapes. Shapes is a vector graphic library that is really, really powerful and also pretty lightweight. It's optimized for VR is also works on multiple platforms. So I really recommend that you look at this. If we take a look at this video right now, you can see the, you know, there's an airplane. I want you to pay attention to some of the GUI that gets drawn on the video. And like I said, this vector graphic library works in real time and you can also do either 2D or 3D type shapes. And you can go through some of the, some of the documentation in here if you go to the website. She has a lot of different documentation on, you know, what's currently available and possible with this library. It's a high quality line drawing. And when she says high quality line drawing, it is high quality because everything looks as sharp as it can be. And again, it, because it's vector graphics, it's going to be lightweight when it comes to making that available in your own game. So that's gonna be the first one. There's a lot of documentation in here. If you wanna go to the docs, there's also a forum. She's also pretty active in Twitter. And when I say she, this is her name, is Freya Holmer. She's a really amazing mathematician. So I really recommend that you check out her asset. So the next one that I wanna look at is going to be one that kind of looks like Pro Builder, but the more that I looked at, the more that I was impressed. And this one is called U-Modeler, and U-Modeler is pretty, pretty powerful. And they have a couple of videos in here, which we can take a look at. It's kind of like a walkthrough of a church and everything that you see here is being, you know, rendered and created with this tool. And we can take a look at how, and I was really surprised with how many different tools you have available. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, the next video. Medieval, I think the one that I really like was, oh, this one's pretty cool. This is, a, this is basically designing a robot. And we can kind of raise the volume here. And these robots were designed by the tool completely, which, you know, if you think about the workflow of creating an asset, it takes a lot of time from, you know, take it from your 3D application into Unity, and then, you know, all the mappings that need to happen. So this is an asset I really recommend. It's currently also 50% off. And there's a lot of documentation on every single one of these assets. So if you want to try it for free, they have a light version as well. It's being tested with Unity 2018 for the 31 to 2021. It also works with the URP and HDRP. And I didn't mention that with shapes, but that's also true for shapes. So let's go ahead and look at another one that I also really like, and that one is Gravit. Gravit is pretty cool because it, I don't know if you, if you get as, you know, geeky out with physics, but anytime I'm trying physics and I see that it's working, it's pretty cool, but you have to hit play in order for you to see some of those physics. So if I were to hit play on this one, everything here, if you look at the transformation tool, is happening during editor time, which is amazing because you can start testing everything during you know editing. You can position your items during editing. And I mean, we can see here what's happening. You get a little tool, you know, tool uh, option that you can that you can use to select it. I think this asset is amazing. Custom gravity force. Let's look at some of the things. So imagine you create a box and then put a bunch of screws inside and then let it go in Unity and look at the physics in Unity. I think that looks pretty cool. It's a gravity tool, easy and natural grouping. So let's take a look at this. So this is pretty cool as well. Especially when we know that if you're if you're doing a lot of level design and you have to move these shapes and try to position it right next to each other, it's really hard. But this allows you to, you know, have that collision happening while you're doing that. 
So like I say, no play mode needed, no colliders or jibati needed, it just works like magic. And they have a lot of different videos in here that you can look at as well. And you can move and organize scenes. They have, uh, you know, you can follow them in Twitter and you can look at some of these information. Again, also 50% off, this one is 20. So the next one is pretty powerful too and it's called Rayfire. So let's take a look at Rayfire. Rayfire is cool because, I mean, back in the day, I was developing uh, a game where I call, I think, it, I think I call it demolition, demolition something, but I had to demolish buildings and demolishing those buildings required that you had to, you know, write your own algorithm to basically slice different polygons. So these guys took it to the next level and you're gonna see how this works. Let's go ahead and play and check it out. So it's creating fragments. I want you to look at when the physics start to, to get at it, which I think that that's the part that looks really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. I, I, wanna, I wanna show you this part. So if you wanna do runtime uh, destruction, you kinda see there is a rock getting destroyed. And I mean, these can be used for so many different things. Uh, if you want, like I said, if I wanted to demolish a building, I could do that. You wanted to create more procedural rocks. You wanted to do a smashing type game. I mean, you name it. There's a lot of cool things that you can do with that. And they have a lot of different examples in here and tutorials, which I thought was really, really cool because you know you don't have to guess how things work. And this is also 50% off. And they have a YouTube playlist, also a Unity forum page, Discord channel, if you like to you know, participate there. So they have different, different object types, mesh, skin mesh, a demolition types, so if you want to do a runtime demolition time, which is the one that I thought was pretty cool. And then obviously some other ones available in there as well. So the next one, it's not my asset. A lot of people get confused with this asset being mine, but the way that it, that it happened and why am I in this asset is because the developer liked the video that I made, so he put my video in it. But I really, really recommend this asset because not only has saved me, you know, thousands and thousands of hours, of development when I was working and when I'm working with clients because I can basically run the remote editor. Basically, if I'm doing body tracking, I can see it in the Unity editor. If I'm using face tracking, I can see it in the Unity editor. If I'm doing plane detection, you can see it all right happening in the Unity editor. So if we take a look at, I think he has a demo here where this is running on the Unity editor and you can see the iPhone on the right hand side. Okay, there we go. You see, the, the shapes get generated right inside of Unity. And if we go ahead and, there we go. You can see how, you know, the face is getting generated. You get a feed from the actual video inside of Unity. And he also has the his phone and how it looks like. So you basically install it right on your phone, which is gonna be a remote on your phone. And then there's also an installation package that happens right within Unity. You can see plane detection running in real time, which, which to me was mind blowing because the whole structure in the hierarchy gets created the same way that it will be created on your phone. So let's look at this one. This one is also scene reconstruction. So this one is super powerful. He is creating a reconstruction of what's happening with the lighter on your phone or in the iPad Pro right within Unity and you can see the trackables getting generated. So it's not that he's faking things, he's actually creating things in real time. And if we look at some of the other ones, there's, there's many demos here available and also a lot of documentation. He keeps up updating this asset, so I really recommend that you look at this asset as well. Okay, so that takes us to the last and bonus asset. I already covered five assets that I really like, so let's go ahead and take up one that I've been looking into recently, and the name is Odin. And if you look at Odin, the first time that I looked at it, I was a little hesitant. I'm like, I don't want to add overhead to what I already have. Odin is really, really cool and really, really powerful. Let's go ahead and listen up to this video. For a designer to adjust values without breaking the code, no problem. Do you need to run code at the push of a button? Odin can do that with one extra line of code. Do you have a color scheme for your game? We've got an attribute and an editor for that. If that sounds interesting, let's take a quick look at what Odin Inspector can do for you and your game. Odin Inspector is all about letting you design your game quicker and easier, no matter whether you're a solo hobby developer or working on a large team. Odin Inspector has over 80 attributes that allow you as a Unity programmer to quickly and easily create custom inspectors and custom editors. Grouping in the inspector with attributes like box group, vertical group, and horizontal group can help clean up the visuals and thus the usability. Anyways, that is basically your inspector on asteroids. That's how I want to call it. <laughs> 
But there's a lot of documentation on these one as well. I mean, these are some of the top assets that I found super helpful. And there's also documentation in here when I download the, if you want to download it for a specific support to this version, which is 28. Okay, so he has different versions in here available. Some of the highlights on things that you can do. Editor only mode, import validation, serialization. Basically, you can serialize anything. I think that's one of the biggest, you know, features of this asset. But that's basically everything that I wanted to cover, guys. I think some of these assets are gonna be really helpful. So if you wanna download them, make sure that you click on the links in the description. And if you have any questions about any other assets, please let me know in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving. And if you don't, if you watch this video after the Thanksgiving, I also appreciate you for watching it because I mean, some of these assets you can use during Black Friday, you can get them after Black Friday because they're really gonna simplify your workflow during game development, VR development, AR development, and so on. Thank you very much, guys.